Hi guys! Today in this video, we present a comprehensive guide to setting up a high-speed backbone network using 10G, 5G and 2.5G technology for small to medium-sized businesses. A robust backbone network is crucial for enhancing data transfer speed, improving communication between devices and future-proofing your business for increased demands. So whether you're working on a network infrastructure or any other tech project, We've got you covered. Maximize your potential and ensure efficiency with professional design system by sending us your questions through the link down in the description box below. A backbone networks are the primary high-capacity pathway that interconnect different parts of a network within an organization or a data center. They play a vital role in small to medium-sized businesses environment by effectively routing data between local area network and ensuring seamless communication among various network segments. Backbone networks are critical for transmitting large volume of data, facilitating resource sharing, and supporting the smooth operation of application and services throughout the organization. And the latest trend in backbone network technology for small to medium-sized businesses include the adoption of higher data transfer speed, such as 10G, 5G, and 2.5G technology. So implementing those technology in backbone network offers small to medium-sized businesses a competitive advantage, ensuring they can stay at forefront of technological advancement and deliver seamless connectivity and services. So here are some high bandwidth application in small to medium-sized businesses. Video conferencing and voice over IP phone cloud-based services such as software as a service application, cloud storage and cloud-based productivity tools, data backups and replication, multimedia content creation and editing, data analytics and business intelligence, collaborative file sharing, video streaming and broadcasting, and Internet of Things devices. So today we are going to set up a 10G backbone network with 2.5G network output. So 10G, 5G and 2.5G technologies offer faster data transfer speed, enabling quicker access to critical resources and reducing latency for improved network responsiveness enhance network performance and ensure the business can effectively handle data-intensive tasks and support multiple applications simultaneously. And when you're choosing your backbone network switches, you should consider factors such as the number of ports, PoE compatibility, and managed or unmanaged option. Ensure that the switches can support multiple gigabit Ethernet ports to can mandate different speed devices. So this one I'm holding is our 8-port 2.5G unmanaged switch with 10G of link. It has 10G Ethernet for mass data transfer and potential network expansion, equipped with 8 RJ45 2.5G port for high bandwidth upload, with simple plug-and-play feature without any complicated configuration. So this is the A-Port 2.5G PoE++ switch with 10G of link. It can provide up to 90 watts of power for 2.5G devices. This is the 10G SFP of link port and it has a RJ45 2.5G PoE port. And it's compatible with IEEE AO 2.3 AF AT and BT standard, has total power supply of 240 watts and can supply 90 watts of maximum power for port number 1 to 4 and 30 watts of power output for port number 5 to 8. So this is perfect to connect with high performance devices at the edge. So finally, we have our 24-port fiber optic SFP managed switch that allows you to finish fiber connectivity that is with different bandwidth requirement conveniently and cost saving. It has 16 1G SFP port, 
8 1G combo ports and four 10G SFP of lane port for high-speed connectivity. And you can achieve the performance of 40G network by grouping the four 10G ports together. And also, this switch support powerful L2 management, including traffic monitoring, QoS, and VLAN, so you can manage and maintain the network more easily. So now I'm placing this 24 port fiber managed switch with the router. So I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect them together. Next, we have the SFP transceiver over here. This is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of connector and the distance that you need. And I'm going to plug it into the SFP slots. For a 10G network, you also need to choose a SFP transceiver that can support 10G network. And this is the four string fiber optic cable that we're using since it's pre-made, so we don't need to worry about the connector. And today we're using an LC connector fiber optic cable. It has four strings, so let's use string A and B. It has ladder on each string. This is string A and B, and we have two string for spare use. So over here we have our 300 meters fiber optic cable to provide high speed internet. First we are going to connect to our unmanaged switch. This is the SFP transceiver. Let's plug it in here. Let's use string A to connect with this switch. And up here we have the unmanaged high power PoE++ switch. And let's use string B for this one. Plug it in with the SFP transceiver and put it into the 10G uplink port. Next, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable that's already connected to our high power wireless access point. Let's connect them together. You can see the indicator lights are getting on, so now it's getting both power and data at the same time. So this is the whole setup for our 10G backbone network. And here's some more additional information just for you. First, you should upgrade your network interface card on critical devices such as service, workstation, and storage devices so that they can support the desired speed of the backbone network such as 10G, 5G, and 2.5G. And also, consider factors such as the number of connected devices, data transfer needs, and potential future growth. Last but not least, install high-quality Ethernet cabling that's suitable for the network speed. For 10G and 5G network, Category 6A or higher cables are recommended. And unleashing the potential of link aggregation, here's a video about the 24-port managed network switch that enable you to group 10G ports to be 40G. And thank you very much for watching us.